Hey there, Chatter's Champions. So I just finished reading the last two chapters of Abe Lincoln at last, and what an ending. Um, hope, something to think about. Um, I didn't get to say goodnight or wish you sweet dreams because I wanted to read this story to you. So it's called Goodnight Baby Bear by Frank Asch, and he has dedicated the story to his mother. It says, to my mother, Margaret Asch. So if any of you ever want to be authors as you get older, you get a dedication page in your book and you can dedicate it to your mom, to your dad, your brothers, sisters, friends, anybody you'd like, anybody who's made an impact in your life or has influenced you in writing that story. So something really cool to think about as you become an author, my future authors. Um, here we go. And I'm just gonna turn so you guys can see the pictures. There's a lot of really nice pictures in this book. One chilly night as snow began to fall, Mother Bear led Baby Bear to a cave. This is where we will sleep through the winter, said Mother Bear. Baby Bear wasn't used to sleeping in a cave. Why can't we sleep under the sky like we always do, he asked. Winter has just begun, replied Mother Bear. Soon it will be too cold to sleep under the sky. Mama, I'm hungry, said Baby Bear. I'm sorry, there's no food in the cave, replied Mother Bear. But I always had a little snack before bedtime when we slept outside, said Baby Bear. Hmm, Mother Bear thought for a moment. Wait here, I'll be right back. Not far from the cave, Mother Bear found an old apple tree. She pulled on a branch, plucked an apple, and carried it back to her cub. Thank you, Mama, said Baby Bear as he munched on the apple. Mother Bear soon fell asleep, but Baby Bear couldn't get comfortable. He couldn't fall asleep. There he is. All the ways he's not falling asleep. <laughs> he poked Mother Bear and said, Mama, I'm thirsty. I'm sorry, replied Mother Bear. There's no water in the cave but I always had a drink before I went to sleep when we slept under the stars, said Baby Bear. Okay, sighed Mother Bear. Stay here and I'll see what I can do. What do you think she does? Hmm, let's see. There's a hint. Mother Bear followed the scent of water until it led her to a small stream. She dipped some leaves into the water and carried them back to Baby Bear. Thank you, Mama said Baby Bear as he licked the water from the leaves. Maybe now I'll sleep. You think he'll fall asleep? That's it, that's all he needed, we'll see. Baby Bear lay down next to Mother Bear and waited to fall asleep. He waited and waited and thought and thought. Then he bumped Mother Bear and said, Mama, you know what I need? I need the moon. You need what? gasped the mother bear. I never have trouble falling asleep when I can look at the moon, explained baby bear. I can't get you the moon, cried mother bear, but I need it, insisted baby bear. Mother bear heaved a great sigh. Wait here, she said, and lumbered out of the cave. By now, the snow had stopped falling and the moon was out. Its light fell on the snow like warm honey. Oh, moon, Mother Bear called to the sky. I'm so tired and my baby can't fall asleep without you. What am I to do? Just then, some snow from a pine tree fell onto the hillside and began to roll. As it rolled, it gathered more snow and grew bigger and bigger. By the time it reached Mother Bear, it looked as big and round as the moon. So there's the moon, and there's that snowball that came down. Looks like the moon. Thank you, moon, said Mother Bear, as she rolled the snowball into the cave. I know it's not the moon, she said, there's just enough moonlight coming into the cave to make it shine like the moon. Can you see it? 
Oh, yes, cried Baby Bear. Good, said Mother Bear. Now please go to sleep. Okay, Mama, said Baby Bear. Just one more thing. What now, grumbled Mother Bear. Bet she's so tired, huh? Here's the next picture. I want to give you a kiss, said Baby Bear, and he kissed Mother Bear on the nose. Good night, Baby Bear, murmured Mother Bear. She drew her cub into a warm embrace and kissed him back. Good night, Mama, said Baby Bear, and he closed his eyes, and this time, deep beneath the snow in his cozy warm cave, Baby Bear fell asleep. I hope you enjoyed that story, There's the Moon. And now, I wish you, I'll wish you, um, a good night. Sleep well, sweet dreams, and keep reading. Enjoy your summer. Good night.